so in nature everything is relative similarly motion is also relative why it is like that let me explain you repeat let me explain to you suppose a bus is moving on the road and in the bus there are so many passengers sitting on the seats consider two passengers passenger a passenger b sitting next to each other and there is an observer on the road side says o observer now according to the passenger a and passenger b both are moving in the bus so inside the bus all the passengers are also moving but according to a passenger a he feels that believes that passenger b is at rest state because he is sitting next to him and he is also with him for a long time reach in every instant of time he is seeing the person sitting next to him so he believes that passenger b is at rest state but comparing to observer o who is standing on the road side if you ask him he says that the passenger b is in motion so according to a passenger b is in rest according to o passenger b is in motion so then who is correct both are correct because motion depends upon the observer motion depends upon the frame of references motion depends upon the point of reference so according to one observer maybe the motion the maybe the body is in motion but according to other observer the body is at rest so in this way motion is relative relative means comparable it's a comparison between two observers here o is one observer and a is another observer so i want to conclude that motion is relative motion is not absolute right i hope you understand so next we move to the fundamentals in motion topic to understand more about motion we should know some technical terms in physics like distance displacement speed velocity acceleration so first we discuss about distance and displacement distance versus displacement Let's take an example and we we'll, we we'll depend upon the example we are going to discuss about distance and displacement a person is moving in this path start from point a b c d e and f say from a to b it is 7 km kilometers b to c it is 6 km c to d it is 3 km d to e it is 5 km e to f it is 4 km but from a to f directly if the person goes from a to f directly the distance is 8 km okay now if i ask the person that what is the distance he traveled according to physics distance is total path traveled so in this example total path traveled means you have to take ab distance plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef and then it is 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 So seven plus six, thirteen, sixteen, twenty-one, four, twenty-five. So the total distance travelled by him is twenty-five kilometers because total path you have to take into consideration. Displacement. Displacement is shortest distance between two points. Shortest distance between. 
two points. Now, here in this example, the two points are A and F. A is called initial point, initial point. F is called final point. So, shortest distance between two points means initial point and final point shorter distance and the answer is 8 kilometers. Now, if you observe the two answers, distance is 25 kilometers, displacement is 8 kilometers. That means displacement always lesser than distance. Why it is happened? Because displacement always takes the shortest distance between the points, whereas the distance takes total path traveled. So, distance is scalar, displacement is vector. Right now, I have used two new terms scalar and vector. What are they? Now, see carefully. Scalar is a physical quantity. Scalar is a physical quantity having only magnitude. Having only magnitude. Magnitude means value. In mathematics, we say number. Vector, it is also physical quantity. But having magnitude and direction magnitude and direction that means that means when you are telling about displacement of any body or any person you have to tell magnitude means number or value plus you have to tell the direction too take an example there is a car this car has traveled a, a distance of distance of 15 kilometers so if I ask the question that, what is the distance traveled by the car? The answer is, car traveled a distance of 15 kilometers. The second question, what is the displacement traveled by the car? Then the answer is, it traveled 15 kilometers of displacements towards east. Because if you take the directions of earth, this is east, west, north, south. So you have to say that displacement equal to 15 kilometers towards east distance only magnitude 15 kilometers so that's the difference between distance and displacement there is also the difference between scalar and vector so scalar is having only magnitude means 15 kilometers number vector magnitude and direction that means 15 kilometers towards east Displacement is a very important concept when you are sailing in a ship and when you are flying in an aeroplane because the pilot has to know that what, how much of distance he is traveling at the same time in which direction. Because of that direction he could know that whether he is going to the right destination or not.